Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my condo. Okay, so when you enter the condo, pretty self-explanatory. Entrance door, we have our closet for jackets, coats, shoes, everything like that. We have some other like outdoor things like soccer balls, basketballs, footballs, all that kind of stuff. Moving on, we have our fancy little shoe rack because in Toronto, closets are minuscule and you can't fit anything in it. With our favorite picture that Eric took while he was in Hawaii. I don't know, I love it. I just think it kind of sets the vibe of the condo before you come in. Awesome, so moving forward. No judgment before I open this closet because this is our junk closet for everything to go. Voila! Kind of the only storage space that we have. Washer, dryer, our vacuum, extra toilet paper, paper towel. <laughs> everything to clean laundry with is in there. Clearly we have it stacked up. We have some Christmas decorations also in there, but we kind of just close that and pretend like it just doesn't exist. Moving on, we have our lovely bathroom. One sink instead of two, even though there's two of us that live in this condo, which is fine. We have our little toothbrush charging area over here. And this area, it's all just kind of shelves for like beauty stuff, makeup, medicines, all that kind of stuff. As well as our under the counter, you know, bathroom stuff that we need. Next we have our shower. I actually love this shower, it's amazing. You have two shower tops there, so if you ever do shower with two people or you just like the angles coming from two different sides, it's actually quite perfect. We had a bit of repairing done, so just ignore that. The shower was leaking, but she's fixed now. Okay, so come with me to my favorite part of the condo, my home, my everything, the kitchen. I absolutely love this space. This is so good for food prep. We easily use this as a table with our two stools there because it is a small space. And this whole countertop for like food prep as well. Like it's honestly perfect. I couldn't ask for a better kitchen. We have all of our um, pots and pans in here along with just our cutlery drawer that slides out. Pretty self-explanatory. On this side we have a microwave and some storage underneath it as well as on this side of the cupboard so none of this space under here does go to waste. We are fully able to use it and we really do. Up here we have just a bunch of like pantry foods that don't need to be refrigerated. There's a little bit more storage in here but it's not great. And then we have like our glasses, cups, plates, that kind of stuff in there. Now this space, I don't know what we were really supposed to use it for. It's a pretty thin shelf. So we just put our like flour, baking stuff all in here as well as like some spices on the top rack. And then of course, wine glasses because, you know. Anyway, we also have this really deep sink here. A lot of condo sinks are pretty small and this one's really good actually in my opinion. Huge, easily able to wash dishes, the unfortunate stuff, as well as our dishwasher. I also like how the appliances all kind of blend in with a cabinetry. Same with like our fridge, easily blends in and our freezer underneath, which blends in too. Now that is not enough fridge and freezer space for us because we have a whole other fridge. This one's just like our drink fridge though. Usually it's like stacked up with whatever types of drinks we both like, so that's perfect. And then over here we have our cups, Keurig, and some coffee behind. So clearly this is a drink station for us. Okay, so now onto the living room, which is just off of the kitchen space. We have our LG TV, with our handy dandy Nintendo Switch, which we literally enjoy playing almost every single night. Probably one of the best parts of this condo. We do have these little LED lights that Eric and I got as like a gift. So we are gonna hang them up behind the TV so at nighttime it does look really cool, honestly. You can change the colors to anything we want. Um, over here we have our little EQ3 couch, super comfy. I do indulge in some relaxing time in this couch every once in a while, so we love that and our plant, George. He's a tropical palm tree and he's growing so well. Beautiful little guy. <laughs> and actually this came with our condo. It's like a complete match to the cabinets over there. Honestly, perfect. Like tons of space for everything that we need. There's also drawers under here for storage. There's three of them, which is so perfect for us. We don't really even have them full yet, which is even better showing that we don't need that much space. <laughs> On to our next room. Now in Toronto, this is considered a den space. Don't ask me how, it's literally a dent in the wall. 
But this is Eric's kind of work area, I would say. He does his crypto editing videos and everything right here. Although we do alternate when one of us has class. Yeah, it's a good space. You can store stuff. We have our, our little storage bin over here so we can put any files, any, you know, contracts, everything all in that area sealed away. As well as, I don't know if you can see, but under here we have our printer. Good little, good little desk set up in there. Now onto my probably second favorite room of the condo is our bedroom. Now this is pretty big for a condo bedroom I would say. Since this is a one plus den I feel like the space that we actually have is huge. This is a whole full bed. We have this over here. I think I got this from Ikea. This is like a sliding door so we can store clothes everything on it and it also acts as like kind of a vanity for me if I'm doing my makeup and Eric's using the bathroom. So honestly, really perfect. Couldn't complain about this. This little like hanging rack is also so easy to use. Hang your extra clothes in there. Over here we have our closet. On this side is my clothes. The other side is Eric's, but we won't even show his stuff. <laughs> I have all my jeans and pants folded on the top and then most of my stuff is color coded throughout it. I wear a lot of whites and grays and blacks, so you can probably tell that when looking at my wardrobe. We just have our laundry bin stuffed underneath there. Now we have this, I love this light. I probably use this to film in all my videos. You can change the color to literally anything that you want. You can do warm, cool colors, obsessed. If anyone wants this, I'll link it down below. Okay, so the other thing about this bed that is super awesome is the under the drawers um, storage space we have. So this is like Eric's extra clothes that he just wears on the daily and it just kind of goes under there. We also have some tech stuff under here. So definitely living in Toronto, a huge thing that you need is storage because there's literally none in buildings. So yeah, definitely consider if you're moving, getting a bed with some storage underneath or any type of cabinetry that will hold your clothes. Okay, so then this is super good for in the summertime and even in the wintertime, just if you need some space. We're this little balcony out here and we have a nice view of the water over there. It is absolutely lovely. We do get sunrise as well. So in the mornings, it's gorgeous if you're up early enough to watch. Honestly, in the summer, we're planning on putting some chairs and get some stringy lights out there. So it will look really good, although we just did move in at the end of this summer. So we didn't get to enjoy it, unfortunately. Okay guys, so that is the whole tour of our condo. It is 675 square feet, I believe, and absolutely gorgeous. Love this condo. I would recommend it to anyone planning on moving in. But that's all I have for you today, so thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next week.